In the summer of 2010, psychic Diana Calamia and her team of ghost trackers went searching for spirits in the old Asarco smelter in El Paso, Texas. Night after night, Diana walked through the darkened buildings. We didn't go in this building last time, did we? Correct. She found hundreds, maybe thousands of spirits, showing themselves as white balls of light. She talked with them, and she said they were trapped there. Find out why they were unable to leave, and see what happens next. Get ready to experience ghosts in El Paso like never before. These are the ghost stories of El Paso. The Asarco smelter had been a landmark in El Paso for more than a century. It began operating in 1887 and closed in 1999 when copper prices fell. The smelter never reopened and went into bankruptcy. It was the backbone of El Paso's economy for more than a hundred years. At times, thousands of people worked here, sometimes on three shifts of 400 workers each. The smelter was a dangerous place and many workers were injured or killed there. It had its own hospital and its own cemetery. Psychic Diana Calamia toured the plant just before demolition began. Her mission was to comfort the lost souls she encountered and help send them on their way. She went inside the big smokestack. Yeah, they come in here. And it's like they feel they can shout out to have their voices heard from here. The powerhouse. They're not letting me cross yet. And the original 1887 administration building. Get ready to experience ghosts in El Paso like never before. These are the ghost stories of El Paso.